and welcome to your go market update for today tuesday the 26th of july welcome everybody mike smith senior analyst at go markets here let's just check in on what's happening across the news wires today overnight of course we saw a mixed session in the us with the s p 500 and the dow ending positive nasdaq slightly to the downside we saw financials and defensive sectors outperform but of course, earnings and interest rates are going to dominate sentiment over the next couple of days. We've got the Fed meeting and we've got some big companies reporting. US futures are mildly negative in Asia, suggesting caution because of those two things that are pending. And Asian indices are following suit with a mixed session. ASX is near neutral, slightly down as we record this. European futures are suggesting a neutral open also. And in the FX market, we are seeing the US dollar index drop to three week lows. Gold held that 1700 level that was tested last week and is below the key level at 1735, so slightly to the upside again yesterday. Oil is still trading in a tight range between 100 and 110 dollars, currently around 106 on the Brent crude contract CFD. And the VIX continues to drift downwards, suggesting market sentiment is calming to a new three month low around about 24. Copper also has had a little bit of a recovery. Uh, we were trading around 3.30 for a couple of days, but we seem to have broken to the upside. Obviously, much ground to be made up in light of where we were a couple of months ago. Bitcoin, however, not a happy story. It's moved down through previous broken resistance and is back into the range below that 21,500 level that has been so important over the last few weeks and could well see further selling if Asian action is anything to go by. Of course, we've got earnings ramping up and a big rest of the week. Today, we've got Coke, Microsoft, Triple M, GE and Visa as examples. But of course, the eyes are on the Fed also with that 0.75% rate height expected on Wednesday. Much for the markets to digest. But at this stage, things relatively calm, pre-Fed and pre-earnings. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts which caught our eye this morning. Uh, we'll start with the GB pound Japanese yen. And you can see we had a really nice bounce off this support at 163 yesterday. Look as though we could be up. Now we've broken 60, 164 for a move up to 165.90s, which would be the top of the range that we've been trading in recently. If we just look more closely, at this you can see the strength of that move today as well if we just look on a 30 minute chart this is the level that we're looking at possibly around about 165 to suggest that we are getting some upside there is a short term opportunity to perhaps trade it up to there but 165 perhaps later in the day looks interesting we'll just take this out and you can see why it's important we could see ourselves up 100 pips but in this market for right now and with lots of things to digest later perhaps a move up around about 45 50 pips would be a realistic trader aim if we do get some buy-in pressure coming in on the asx we're seeing some of the material stocks do okay we just wanted to put up igo independence group limited uh, and you can see there we're pushing up towards that $10.12 level that does appear to have been resistance of late. We haven't traded over this level since the end of June. Looks as though we could challenge this. If we do break through, there's an interesting potential move to the upside. Looks as though the next key level could be around about that 10.92, which would be a significant move higher in excess of, as we see here, 7%. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.